The Jack Benny Program. Starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Rochester, Dennis Day, Bob Crosby, and yours truly, Don Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, immediately after this radio program, Jack does his television show. But meanwhile, let's go out to Jack Benny's house in Beverly Hills. It's morning, and he's just finished his breakfast. Did you enjoy your breakfast, Mr. Benny? Oh, yes, it was wonderful. You know, Rochester, I like starting off with that pink grapefruit. Where do those pink grapefruit come from? Florida. Florida, eh? I wonder what makes them pink. When they see the size of our California grapefruit, they blush. <laughs> oh, Rochester, you're cute. <laughs> and that was a swell breakfast. Say, say, Mr. Benny, you've got a little bit of egg on your chin. I have? Hand me a spoon. Oh, boss, wipe it off. It's not enough to say. <laughs> I'm not going to save it. I just didn't want to dirty a napkin. You know, our Bendix machines are loaded here. Oh, hello, Polly. I said, hello, Polly. Rochester, why does... Why does Polly seem afraid of me? Well, you know how you force it. <laughs> Well, she needn't worry. This year, we're going to buy the eggs. <laughs> Hello, Polly. Hello. That's better. Rochester, it's such a beautiful day, I think I'll, I'll go for a walk. You've been taking a lot of walks lately, Mr. Benny. I know. You see, when I left the hospital and went to Palm Springs, the doctor told me I was fine, but I ought to get a little more exercise. How would you like to mow the lawn? <laughs> no, no, I'll walk. Don't be so good to me, you know? I'll see you later. Gee, it's certainly nice out today. Everything looks so beautiful. Hmm, the air smells so fresh. I feel great since I got out of the hospital. A person doesn't realize the tremendous advances medical science has made. All those new wonder drugs they've invented. Oromycin, oromycetin, cortisone penicillin, and the four-way cold tablet. <laughs> now they've even got a 12-way cold tablet. That's for people who get sick watching three-dimensional pictures. <laughs> that stay in the hospital sure did me a lot of good. No business, no phone calls. Just wonderful rest and quiet. Doctors wanted me to stay in the hospital a little longer, but I insisted on getting out. Twenty bucks a day. <laughs> Fortunately, I was getting twenty-five from the Blue Cross. <laughs> I think next week I'll tell them I'm out. <laughs> hey. Hey, there's that, that cute little Washburn girl playing with her doll. Hello, Beverly. Oh, hello, Mr. Benny. It's nice to see you out of the hospital. Oh, thank you, Beverly. What did you have, a boy or a girl? <laughs> No, 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 honey. I, I had the, I had the flu. Gee, I didn't know there were boys, girls, and flu. <laughs> no, no, Beverly, Beverly, you're mixed up. You see, the flu is like a cold. Well, didn't you bring anything from home to the hospital? No. 
Then they cheated you. Every time my mommy goes, she brings home a baby. She does? Yeah. She's such a good customer. Last time they gave her two. <laughs> I know, I know, you're twin brothers. Well, see you later, Beverly. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Benny. Gee, she's cute. Thinking that I had a baby. Imagine me having a baby. That would drive my press agent nuts. <laughs> That little Beverly is a doll. Her parents named her Beverly because she was born here in Beverly Hills. Her brother's name is Pismo. <laughs> oh, boy, this walk is sure making me feel good. I wonder if... Oh, hello, Dennis. Sure, and we got our top of the morning. It's a pleasure equal to kissing the Blarney Stone itself, running into the likes of you and maybe wishing you a happy St. Patrick's Day there. <laughs> Wait a minute, Dennis. Aren't you celebrating St. Patrick's Day a little late? Oh, I forgot about it. Dennis, how could you possibly forget? Everybody was wearing green shirts and green ties and green socks, and the women were wearing green dresses and green hats. I thought it was a publicity stunt for chlorophyll. <laughs> Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, by the way, Dennis, I'm a little disappointed in you. you. You didn't come to visit me when I was in the hospital. Well, I couldn't, Mr. Benny. I, I was sick at the time myself. You were? I didn't know that. Yeah, I had to have a doctor and everything. I felt awful. I had chills and fever and temperature and butterflies in my stomach. No kidding. What did the doctor do? He told me to stop eating the butterflies. <laughs> Dennis, come here a minute. If you hit me, I'll tell the Blue Cross you're out of the hospital. <laughs> well, goodbye, Dennis. I'll see you later. Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Benny. Don't you want to listen to the song I'm going to do on the show next week? Listen to it here? Here on the street? it will be embarrassing. Yeah, I guess you're right, Mr. Benny. The last time I sang on the street, people started throwing money out of the windows. <laughs> Sing, kid. I'll get a broom. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh.
How'd you like my song, Mr. Benny? Uh, just a minute, Dennis. 65, 70. <laughs> 75, 80. No, that's a bottle cap. That's the one that landed right on my nose. They're right. Pepsi Cola hits the spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so long, Dennis. Goodbye. That was a nice song that Dennis sang. Probably be a big hit. I never could understand why the song I wrote wasn't a hit. When you say I beg your pardon, then I'll come back to you. When you ask me to forgive you, I'll return. Like the swallows at Serrano, come back to... Say, now I know what's wrong with my song. It stinks. <laughs> Well, someday I'll write a big hit that will... Hey, can you tell me how to get to the farmer's market? Yes, yes, you turn right... Hey, aren't you my friend from Calabasas? Yes, sir. Hi, Rube. <laughs> hi, hi. Hey, the farmer's market's on the corner of 3rd and Fairfax. You come into town to buy something? No, I'm taking this truckload of stuff from a farm to sell. Oh, what do you got in the truck? Pig's knuckles. <laughs> pig's knuckles? Yeah, the pigs were driving me crazy, always cracking them. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. No, I'm not. Quiet, Pokey. <laughs> well, uh, I better get going, room. I'm in a hurry. Why, what's the rush? I want to get home before 8 o'clock. This is going to be a big night in Calabasas. They're reopening the movie house. They put in a new modern feature. Oh, you mean three-dimensional pictures? No, talkies. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy them. Oh, I will. Can't wait to hear that Valentino fella talk. He's a hot one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, goodbye. Uh, so long, Rube. I'm the sheik of Arabi. The hard Gosh, there's a real friendly person. Great fan of mine, too. <laughs> He's waving goodbye to me. Oh, no, it's one of the pig's knuckles. <laughs> But a fan is a fan. <coughs> Gee, I had no idea I walked this far. Here's Don Wilson's house. I wonder if Don is home. Must be the house is tilted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll drop in and surprise him. Why, Jack Benny, what a pleasant surprise. Oh, hello, Mrs. Wilson. I was just out for a stroll and thought I'd drop in. Don's home, isn't he? Yes. Come right in. Thank you. You look wonderful, Jack. How are you feeling now? Oh, great. You know, I had a nice rest in Palm Springs. Where's Don? He's in the living room practicing his diction. Practicing his yeah. diction? Yes. You know, an announcer has to practice every day just like a musician. I never knew that. I'll call him. Oh, Don... Donald, honey, sweetheart, fast <laughs> Are you, are you sure he's in the living room? Oh, yeah. He gets so absorbed when he practices his diction. Let's go in. Oh, now, brown cow. <laughs> the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Oh, now, brown cow. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. She sells seashells by the seashore. Oh, Don. How now, brown cow? <laughs> Donald! Oh, oh, 
I'm sorry, dear. I was rehearsing. Oh, oh, hello, Jack. Oh, hello, Don. Don't let me interrupt. Go right ahead with you. Hey, I didn't know the sportsman quartet was here with you. Hello, fellas. Hmm. Don, what are you and the sportsman working on? Ah, uh, we've all been practicing our diction. The sportsman, too? Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, we have a wonderful song prepared for the show. Would you like to hear it? Why, sure, as long as I'm here. All right, fellas, take it. How, now, round cow. How, now, round cow. Okay, take it now. You got a hat, sin. You ain't the positive, e limb. But ain't the negative, and latch on. To the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In Between. You got E, none, C, A, and clarity. Use words with familiarity and add to your popularity. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. To illustrate our last remark, Jonah in the way, Noah in the ark. What did they say? Just when everything looked so dark. Pass the dictionary. Accent. You ain't the positive E, limb. Manate the negative and latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, don't mess with Mr. In Between. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? No, don't mess with Mr. In Between. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? That wonderful, Don, will be swell on the show. I knew you'd like it. Well, I gotta be going. I'm taking my daily walk. Oh, but Jack, it was such a short visit. Why don't you stay and have lunch with Don? I'm sure there'll be enough for both of you. No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, goodbye, Mrs. Wilson. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye, brown cow. <laughs> See you later. Gosh, I walked all the way down to the shopping district. Hmm. Drucker's Barber Shop. Haircuts, $1.50. How do you like that? They raised the price. Last time I got one, they were 40 cents. Ah, <laughs> uh, say, what smells so good? Oh, it's this bakery here. Oh, boy, look at those nice-looking cakes in the window. I think I'll go in and buy something. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? <laughs> well, I don't know. Everything looks so good here. Yeah. What do you recommend? Well, we got pies, cakes, donuts, brownies, and Cimarron rolls. <laughs> what? Cimarron rolls. <laughs> Don't, don't you mean cinnamon? That's what I said, cinnamon roll. <laughs> well, I don't want any of those. Oh, I know, have you got any lady fingers? I used to have, but I had to get rid of them. They kept cracking their knuckles. <laughs> well, don't be so smart. I came in here to buy something. Now, let's see. Oh, I know. I'll have a half a dozen donuts, that chocolate cake, and let's see. I'll have this Napoleon. That's a Josephine. <laughs> well, mister, I've been having those for years. It's a Napoleon. It's a Josephine. This is Danish pastry. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have it anyway. And I say, on second thought, I think I'll have some of those Cimarron rolls. <laughs> what? I said I'll... <laughs> I said I'll have some of those Cimarron rolls. Don't you mean cinnamon rolls? <laughs> Yes, give me six of them. 
Now, how much is it all together? Now, let's see. Donuts, uh, chocolate, pastry, and a uh, half a dozen Cimarron rolls. <laughs> uh, that comes to a dollar even. A dollar? Well, here you are. Goodbye. Goodbye. And call again. You're quite a character. <laughs> Hey, Rochester will be happy I stopped at the bakery. He loves donuts. I'll put a candle on one of them. Tomorrow's his birthday. <laughs> Gee, look at all the new sets in this television store window. Hey, they're advertising my TV show that goes on today. It says, don't miss Jack Benny's version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, boy, I love those shows where I can play two parts. Hi, Jack. What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, Bob Crosby. I was just looking at these television sets. Where are you going, Bob? Oh, nowhere. Just coming from Remley's house. You see, Frankie's sick in bed with the flu. Gosh, everybody seems to have had it. Is Remley taking good care of himself? Oh, yes. Starts out in the morning with a hot toddy. Nine o'clock, he has grapefruit juice and bourbon. <laughs> Ten o'clock, he has orange juice and vodka. Mm -hmm. and at noon, he has lime and gin. He keeps repeating this until bedtime. <laughs> Well, for heaven's sake, who's his doctor? Oh, he hasn't got a doctor. He's got a bartender. <laughs> well, of all the... Why doesn't he get a doctor? What? And get well? <laughs> what a guy. Well, I gotta be running along, Bob. Don't forget my television show this afternoon. Well, don't worry, Jack. I'll be watching it. Watching it? You're on it. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Well, see you later. So long. Oh, Bob. Yes? You know, I got something funny to tell you. You know that word that you always have so much trouble pronouncing? Uh, uh... Manischewitz? Yes, yeah. <laughs> well, I just ran into a fellow in a bakery who couldn't pronounce cinnamon rolls. Well, how do you... <laughs> how do you like that? You mean he couldn't say Cimarron rolls? <laughs> So long, Bob. So long. <laughs> Imagine Bob almost forgetting my TV show. Gee, I can't wait till I get on and do Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The part I like is when I change from the nice, kind-hearted Dr. Jekyll into the mean, cruel Mr. Hyde. Boy, that really takes acting. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. People are looking at me. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gee, look what time it is. I better get down to the TV studio. Extra, extra, get your paper here. Latest election returns. Election return? Extra, extra, Herbert Hoover, elected president of the United States. <laughs> Hoover defeats Alfred E. Smith. Extra, extra, Herbert Hoover, new president. Extra, extra. Hmm. That's what I get for transcribing my show so far in advance. <laughs> Oh, well, I better hurry. Good night, folks. Jack Benny is a regular feature of the United States Armed Forces Radio Service.